Hello and welcome to episode 42 of my Working with Todoist series. In this episode, I want to show you the benefits of using the link to task um, function in Todoist. So let's get started. Uh, in my uh, routines folder and I'm going to do another episode on routines and how I use my routines folder at a later date but let's just have a look in my routines folder I have a daily repeating task here of check student rescheduling list and this has a note attached to it which is a link to Todoist now uh, if I click on this list, on this task, it'll take me to the task in specific. So in this case, I have uh, the actual comment section come straight up and it tells me the students that I need to reschedule for uh, a different time for their class. So this is really useful if you need to check some information. Now, I could keep this information in a notes application. But what I find is that Todoist is really, really useful for these kind of tasks. Uh, so when I'm teaching a student on a one-to-one -one basis, they will tell me, oh, next week I can't do Monday uh, because I'm away on a business trip. So I need to find another time uh, for them, and another day and time for them. And this allows me to, on a daily basis, just check my list and see against cancellations if I can fit someone in. So to set this up, uh, I have down here in my areas of focus, as I've mentioned before, my student affairs um, task. And this is actually in my uh, Safari because this doesn't, this will always open up in Safari or your browser, but to me, it doesn't really matter. And I have a, a task up here reschedule these students. And I've created the list directly in here. So, Yonhua for week, uh, Bo here for week 16, here on for week beginning tomorrow. So what I've done is over here on the right hand side where you have the function or um, editing, more editing features, you have this one here called link to task. If you click on that, it will give you a, a website, a, a, a URL address where you can copy it and then you can paste it into the task like check student reschedule. So I've, I've pasted it in here and come up to log in to, to do it. So that means that when I click on this now, it'll take me directly to that task so that I can see which students I need to reschedule. Really, really useful tip because it means I'm not going to have to go looking through my Todoist and particularly for, for me where when I open up my areas of focus, I've got quite a lot of t uh, projects in there. And these, although they're not projects in the real sense of projects, there are things that I like to keep an eye on. So there's just a quick tip for you on how to use the, the function reschedule these students. And all I've done is I've created a, a non-completable task. I've added a note. So let's say um, change Fred's class from Wednesday to Friday next week. Now, for me, I need to put a date in that because um, <clears throat> I know what I'm like. Um, so let's have a look uh, to Friday next week would be the 7th so I would put a brackets in there 7th of May because I don't want to have to think and I know that at the end of the day if things are going to be really tough probably I'll be tired so there's just a really really quick way of linking to tasks and how they can be quite useful for you and I always find this really really useful for other things as well so for like um think about my the project that I was working on in the previous episode on my holiday uh, have a quick look to see um, what events are on in Ibiza I can link to the Carl Cox task that I set up in the last episode anyway hopefully you find that useful uh, there are many things that you could do with that as I say I created mine as a non-completable task because it's just something that I'm adding notes to and it's a really really cool way of using the link to task functionality in Todoist. Okay, so don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you want to get the latest episodes as soon as I post them. As I mentioned before, I try to post at least two episodes a week. And also, if you have any questions about any of the uh, things that I've covered in these videos, 
please leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. So until next time, have a very productive week and I'll see you in the next episode.